Hey there, I have another nutrition haul for you guys. I did not get two orders of nutrition in the same month. What had happened was I had placed my normal $100 uh, nutrition order and um, for some reason it was split up into two uh, boxes and I got one box and completely had forgotten that I got more of, um, I got a bigger order and when the first box arrived, I thought it was my whole order and didn't even realize it was like not a hundred dollars worth of stuff. So anyways, this is the second half of my last nutrition order. Um, like I said, I didn't realize that it wasn't the entire one when I, <laughs> when I recorded my first nutrition uh, haul a couple weeks ago. So, or maybe it was last week. I don't even know. Anyways, I'm going to show you the other items that I purchased in my nutrition order. Okay, so in this order, I got some of this uh, Guy's barbecue sauce. This one's spicy. Um, I haven't heard anything about it, but I just am interested in a barbecue sauce that's spicy. Jihoo's is fine, but um, I thought I'd try something else. So this one is two carbs for two tablespoons. I think that's pretty good. Let me see the ingredients. This is the ingredients. I'm not an ingredient person, but it looks fine to me. It does have sucralose at the end there, but I am not staying away from sucralose. So. I don't know why I got one bag of these chips. I think I only got one bag because I wanted my boyfriend to try them. Because I've gotten one bag in the past, and they're really good. I like this flavor a lot. And I'm not a big ranch chip flavor kind of person, but um, these ones are good. I think that's my favorite flavor of theirs. Then Scroggins had told me about um, Walden Farms having really good caramel sauce. And I wasn't sure which one he was talking about. I had Walden Farms a long, long time ago, and uh, I got some jams, and I thought it was disgusting. But I know some people think that like some of them are actually good and Scroggins had told me that their caramel sauce was good. So I didn't know if he meant this one or this one. So I got both, which might be a mistake, but this one kind of looks a little more promising. I don't know. So anyways, this one's their caramel syrup. That is the macros, so pretty crazy. That's the ingredients. Ooh. Yellow number six, yellow number five, oh boy. It has carrageenan in it too. I don't see that all that often, but some people really steer clear of it. And then this one is a dip, so hopefully it's thicker. Macros. Ingredients. Yellow number six and red 40. I know red 40 is a bad one. It's illegal in some places. But anyways, since I was in the caramel mood, I got uh, this sucrin syrup. I like their brown sugar a lot. So I got this, it's like a caramel sauce. I just, I really want something that tastes like caramel. It's so hard to find. 28 carbs, 20 grams of fiber, holy cow. Six grams of sugar alcohol, so two net carbs. I don't even know that I looked at the, <laughs> I don't even know if I looked at the macros, but it's luckily two net carbs. Um, there's the ingredients there. It does have corn fiber and molasses. I don't know if that's going to mess me up, but I got it to try out. I got a restock of my chompies, just one loaf of the cinnamon bread. I uh, kind of worked down my um, freezer burnt um, selection when I did my bread fast, so I thought I'd get another loaf of the cinnamon. I really, really wanted to try this. I actually did try it. I took out one. These are the dinner rolls. That's the macros. I think it's pretty good. One net carb for a little dinner roll. They are soft to the touch, so much so that they kind of got smushed. But I did take them out and try one. They have the texture on the inside like um, the Chompy's bagels, which is not what I was looking for in a dinner roll. I wanted it to be more soft. Uh, kind of like white bread, but it's a little more gritty, uh, kind of like the bagels are, where it has seeds and stuff. It's like they use the sesame seed dough for the bagels to make um, these dinner rolls. So anyways, not exactly what I was looking for. They're still fine. I'll probably put like butter on them. and I mean, I'll definitely eat them because the macros are incredible, but 
just not what I was wanting for a um, roll. And then that's the ingredients. I kind of just wish I had got more bagels because now I'm completely out of bagels, but I'm glad I tried it. This one I'm really looking forward to. I will have this in a product review for sure. These are so pricey, but Nutrition luckily had them, so I did save a little bit there. Five net carbs for two cookies. That's a lot. Um, but two cookies is 90 calories, six grams of fat, 11 total carbs, three dietary fiber, and three grams of allulose. I love that they actually put allulose on the label because some places, some companies don't. It's just a bummer. Anyways, uh, four grams of protein. I see that there is rice flour, cane sugar, and chicory root fiber, as well as tapioca fiber. So there is no doubt in my mind that this is going to kick me out of ketosis, but I just had to try it. I just had to. So that will be in an upcoming product review for sure.